out on a dark Angel Town night. Then suddenly, called together through an organized underground grapevine mob bell would envy, hot rodders, low riders, and big bikers step from the shadows and into the street lights. And to the tune of tearing tires, the streets of Smogville become a racetrack where supercharged dragsters challenge the police for after dark dominance of the pavement. Now, street racing is on the ground, it's unorganized. Normally what they do, they meet at a, a shopping center or a parking lot or a hamburger stand, whatever. They meet at this hamburger stand, they get together, they look at their cars, they talk, they look at the bites, the, the low riders be dancing and, you know, and everybody be checking out their machines. But then there's the excitement, competition. My car or my motorcycle is better than your car. You know, my bite is quicker than your bite. And then next thing you know, there's a little gambling. Sometimes it's just for the prestige of it. And they pick a street at random, a good long street, and they go out and they get it on. These fast-paced, late-night gear grinders have generated more than just residue rubber. Soon after the Watts riots, the drivers of the dark drags gathered in the daylight to green flag the above-ground International Brotherhood of Street Racers. Segwaying into the 70s and surfacing definitely legit, the Brotherhood is racing for a precious prize. I got to make this clear. Our main goal at that racetrack, our main product that we want to produce is Brotherhood. Everybody understand that? Let me hear. Now, what we are trying to produce? Brotherhood. All right. I know for a fact that there are attorneys involved. Uh, there are some law enforcement officers involved. Uh, now, I'm, I'm talking about in the organization, not in actively involved in street racing per se. Uh, I think the foundation and the concept of his organization is, uh, is solid. I think it's a great idea. It uh, provides not only an opportunity to uh, give these youngsters an outlet, but it helps build brotherhood. They are built upon the theme of a brotherhood through street racing. Driving hard to discourage draggers from doing it in the street, the Brotherhood and their main man and founder, Big Willie Robinson III, have a dream. A permanent off-street racetrack that will be open to all. And they've staked out what they feel is prime turf for their Brotherhood Raceway Park, an abandoned Navy airstrip on Terminal Island, now being used as a driver training track for L.A. cops. Officially, we do not sanction the streets anymore because, um, you know, this is our major project now. We feel that this place here, we can run every weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's an M3 zone. We can run around the clock. And that way, the kids will, don't have any reason to be on the public streets. So what we've done, we'll transfer it from the public streets to a private street. This is our private street out here. Pounding pavement, pushing their project, the Brotherhood has gotten the green light from the police department, the city council, and Mayor Bradley. They've even held several full-scale all-day drags at the potential park. However, their dream has run right into some rough road. Our main uh, objective out here is to uh, bring the kids out here, keep them out here on the weekends. But it seems as though the general manager of the Harvard don't quite go along with that program. Uh, he tells me that he's for the program, he's a racer himself, but yet and all, red tape, red tape, red tape.